Hi, my name is Dave, and today I'm going to give you a tour of a beautiful Questar 3.5 inch Maxutov telescope. This telescope was made in the 1980s, about 1988, I believe. You can see it comes with the deluxe case. Everything about Questar is the very, very best. Everything here. Uh. <clears throat> so you set up the Questar for tabletop use. These uh, legs screw in here. This is the adjustable third leg. Depends on your latitude, of course. This one will certainly work for my latitude. Okay, there we have the telescope set up. The telescope is now set up and of course you would adjust this to be more appropriate for your latitude. Um, the North Star would be back this way to my back. So I'd be facing south here. Now this telescope, <clears throat> in 1988 they made them with AC power. It has been updated with this uh, Questar Power Guide 2. Very, very nice. This only needs a uh, regular 9 volt battery to run this thing for many, many hours. And this plugs in in the bottom here. The telescope came supplied with uh, Brandon eyepieces. I don't have either of those supplied eyepieces. Uh, instead, I have Teleview Plossels, which are my uh, go-to favorite eyepieces. And this adapter here allows me to use the Teleview eyepieces, which are very good eyepieces. People can use, people have used great big eyepieces on these telescopes successfully, but I'm very happy with the little Teleview Plossels. The Questar features the very highest in workmanship and the best quality components available. It's only a three and a half inch telescope, but believe me, if you're going to have only one telescope, this is the telescope to have. It has enough aperture to give you a very good detail, very good definition on the moon and the planets and double stars. It is even capable of some deep sky observation, although a three and a half inches aperture really isn't enough to penetrate the real faint fuzzies. Um, but by the same token, for a single telescope that you're going to have, and especially one that you want to carry on an airplane or take with you someplace, this is an ideal telescope. And believe me, in terms of friendliness, you can't beat it. This telescope, um, you know, I've always dreamed of owning a, a Questar, and I had heard that they were the very best and premium, and you'll never go back, and they're Everything they said was absolutely correct. The operation of the telescope is beautiful, buttery, smooth, absolutely superb. I don't know if you can tell how nicely that's moving. The right ascension and declination slow motions are beautiful. You can move it by hand wherever you want. It's got the dew shield here. Let me take the, take the protective cap off here. This telescope doesn't have a fancy, uh, fancy coatings or a quartz mirror or anything like that. It's got a Pyrex mirror, standard coatings, fine, just fine, no problem. Uh, you can spend a lot of extra money getting that extra stuff, and probably you're, you know, you're probably not doing a, yourself a disservice to do that. But I don't think it's really necessary in a telescope like this. This is a really, really high quality telescope in its ordinary form, which is like this. So it's got a beautiful aesthetic. It's got a, a map of the moon here. People, you know, I think those are, this is absolutely beautiful. And the map of the, the dew shield, the map of the stars slides off.
Okay, uh, we're in a little closer now so I can show you some of the features of the telescope. Let me show you some of the controls on the back. The back is uh, interesting, unique in many respects. Uh, it's got several features which make it uh, quite special. This little switch engages a finder. The finder is inside this box here. Bring this down like so, and now you're looking straight down through, and there's a mirror back here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. There's a mirror right there. And now you're looking sort of past the telescope underneath, and you have a very low power, nice low power finder. It actually works quite well. I use a, a low power eyepiece, flip in the finder, and you can find a bright object pretty easily. You can certainly find the moon or say Jupiter or whatever. A faint thing might be more difficult, but uh, if you know the sky pretty well, you can find, I found double stars pretty easily straight through the finder. Uh, not bad, not bad at all. So anyway, you flip in the finder and then you can flip back to the eyepiece. Now one of the things is the finder has a, a focal length and in order to focus that you need to adjust this here. This is called the diopter adjustment. When you adjust the diopter adjustment, it moves the eyepiece back and forth just far enough so that you can focus and use the finder. Now, after you found the object and located it and so forth, you flip in the regular telescope. This is how you now focus the regular telescope. And I've used several Schmidt Cassegrains and Maksutov Cassegrain telescopes. Never had one that was this smooth and this uh, shift free. When you move, a, you're actually moving the primary mirror back and forth in there. When you move the primary mirror back and forth, you, it's got to shift a little bit. There's got to be some image shift. Uh, the Questor has very, very small image shift. It's almost, almost undetectable. Uh, so it's not at all. So, some of the larger Schmidt cast screens, the image will shift all over the, the eyepiece uh, when you do that. Um, so this is very, very nice. Now it's also got a built-in Barlow, a 2x doubler. If you flip this switch right here, That'll flip in the Barlow, approximately two times Barlow. You do have to refocus because the optics here are going to be different with the Barlow in, involved. So you do have to refocus a little bit. It's not terribly much, but you can do that. This um, port here, this thing here, it sends screws. And you can use this for an eyepiece or a camera or whatever. You can, I can take this right out of here and put the eyepiece in there. And then you can uh, use this and you can then use this switch to engage what's going on here. It kind of takes the finder out of the picture. Let me show you the controls here. This locks up the, um, you probably, I don't know if you can tell, but it locks or controls the friction on the declination axis. Declination axis is just, it's, everything here is so smooth and the tracking is just beautiful also. So the tracking is very nice. Here's how you move the right ascension. You can move it by hand, or you can use this. The friction, they've got friction control down to a, a, an art here. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to show you about this. You can, uh, if you're in a kind of an inconvenient position, suppose you're looking like that or something down here, um, but suppose you get into a position where you you know, it's just a little awkward for you. You can turn this, you can twist the scope in the cradle to some extent. There's a limitation on that. But you've got about 45 degrees or so. You can move it one way or the other. This thing is an absolute pleasure. It's a pleasure to observe with. There's only one thing missing. And that, of course, is a, uh, a nice sturdy tripod. So let me show you that in the next little segment of this video. Here we have a Celestron G4 tripod which has been fairly heavily modified. First thing I did was to uh, take some unnecessary material out of the spreader here. I took the uh, aluminum castings off here and here, stripped all the paint off there. 
I wanted something that would go um, with a quest arm, that would look right with a quest arm. So that's what I was shooting for there. And I really like the Celestron G4 tripod. And this is the wedge I made. You can see that it's... I, I meant it to be suiting to the Questar. Okay, now we put the Questar on. I'm ready to go. And this is set up for observing in a seated position. So let's, uh, let's suppose I'm seated right here. And I'm looking around like so, and that's how you would use that. Let me show you some close-ups of this so you can get a sense for how I made the uh, how I made this whole outfit. Okay, now that we have a little closer view, you can see that I took some very deliberate care in making this. I wanted this to be uh, fitting for the Quest Tar, so I took some trouble to bevel these edges, polish this aluminum. Uh, use some special chrome bolts here and there uh, and I also wanted it to be very functional so I designed it so that you can adjust the latitude it'll go all the way from 90 uh, to 0 you have three different positions that you can use if you wanted it closer to you and adjust it up like so. So now it's a little closer to my to my body a little bit that way. Um, it's still got plenty of, I mean it's not going to tip over or anything so that's not a problem, not a problem at all. Anyway you have a selection of three different positions to use. You can obviously rotate it whichever direction. I also put a couple of uh, eyepiece holders here. These are inch and a quarter sockets for an eyepiece, if you're using uh, one eyepiece and then you can switch to the other easily and put them down here. Very convenient, very nice. I found that that's one of the nicest things about this little mount. So I can use this sitting down. I can also, also uh, extend the legs and use it standing up. And I'll show you that here in the next little snip. Okay, I now have the legs fully extended and you can see that the observing position is great. Uh, so, at least for me. Um, about 5'10 and a half. Anyway, so I've got the telescope up here at a convenient position. I can easily look through the telescope and observe, follow things. It's got a uh, nice, easy, convenient access. And believe me, there's, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to beat the pleasure of a convenient telescope. This telescope is friendly, absolutely friendly. Uh, it doesn't do the observing for you, but boy, it, it takes care of all the little odd necessities that you need to take care of. It's got it all right there in a convenient small package of premium quality, absolutely premium. I am delighted to now own a Questar telescope. I hope you've enjoyed my tour of this beautiful Questar 3.5 inch telescope. Thank you very much.